Hey folks, just want to introduce you to the Set and Go Economy Model Trapper. Now it is the same width, it's the same length, and it's just about the same weight as the Deluxe Model. However, this is made out of steel and it will rust, but our traps rust. So when you get some this year, just do the same thing I did last year with the regular Deluxe Set and Go. Just take some flat black spray paint from the dollar store. It's a buck and a quarter. You can do a whole bunch of them. Paint it flat black. Next year it will rust up for you. You can dye it just like you would your traps. There's a lot of demand for the set and go trapper. However, some folks can't justify the cost. Listen, at set and go economy model, if you catch one muskrat, it pays for two of them. There's very little profit margin in these folks. I'm trying to introduce a whole concept, a whole idea of the set and go trapper being part of the trapping industry. I'm not getting rich on these. We're selling a bunch of them, but I'm not getting rich on them by no stretch of imagination. This set and go is designed for folks who don't really want to spend as much money as they can as they as they wanted to for a deluxe model. These will work just as well. Folks, set and go trapping is here to stay. This is a very, very real, very, very deadly technique. It's not a flash in the pan. I've had a lot of emails saying, oh, this could get tangled up and this could get hooked up. Guys, this, that's not the case. There's nothing going to get hooked up or, or screwed up. I've never had a set and go, did go off where I didn't have something in it. This works. It's deadly. It's not a flash in the pan. It's a technique that's going to go on for a really long time. Now my buddy Boo Boo, Boo here, I don't do a lot of bear trapping, but poor old Boo Boo can stick his nose to about eight. And that's going to happen. Guess what happens when a muskrat swims into that? Guess what happens when a mink swims into that? Now we didn't hurt Boo Boo, so I don't want to get any fan mail. And I'm not much of a bear trapper. The point is, nothing gets hung up. When you walk up to a set and go that's done its job, there's some uh, fur bearer laying there that uh, you wanted to get. Anyway, watch this YouTube video. I've got a couple of them out there. Watch them and learn if you can. If you buy my product, fantastic. If you don't, then maybe you learn something and have a little fun. Thanks a million from all of us at Set and Go Trapper. Once again, we kept it the same width, the same length, and just about the same width to protect our patent. Once again, folks, we're not getting rich on this by no stretch of imagination. If you think you can build it cheaper, then you need to do that because I don't know how you can. We're making very little money on these. Uh, they're heavy. They take a lot of effort, time and effort to drill, to cut the whole nine yards. I can't thank you enough for watching uh, this uh, information and look forward to you watching the YouTube video. And thanks once again for being a set and go trapper. Hey folks. What I'm going to do now, and this is a pretty big deal, you, you, you need to watch this little clip all the way through. I'm on a red hot location. Last fall, this was a killer set and a killer location for uh, rats and for a beautiful big buck mink, and I'll tell you how I caught him in just a few seconds. We're underneath a culvert. As you can see, and you'll be able to pan down a little bit, we've got a new camera here got to bear with us. We're new at this type of thing. Um, the camera is, is a big deal for us, so bear with us a little bit if you can. I've got this set and go trapper, the economy model. It's new. We've just come out with it. It's about half the price. The margin of profit on these is very slim, and we're, we're excited to offer it to the public. Uh, we're not getting rich on these, but boy, we're excited to be part of the trapping industry. We feel really blessed that way. This here is full of concrete. Uh, there was an old bridge, I don't know, many moons ago, whatever, they tore it down. It's rebar and concrete everywhere. Where you can get, could possibly get a stake in the, in the water or on the land, you can't get very far. It's all concrete. Therefore, the set and go trapper is a real, real big deal here. Back up underneath this, it's all a concrete ledge. And in a couple of seconds, I'm gonna show you a set that because it was a set and go trapper, the trap thieves that came here, 
weren't able to know what was going on. Last fall, the water was raging. I had a set and go trapper set right here, and I'm going to show you that rock in a few seconds. I'm going to go ahead and make the set now. I haven't got this spray painted, and I did that on purpose. We take spray paint flat black from the dollar store that costs $1.23, and we spray paint everything. It, you can do 15 or 18 for a dollar and a quarter. So, you know, I don't, I, these will, these setting, these new economy models are going to rust. You'll be able to dye them if you want to. Buck and a quarter, come on. Uh, anyway, I've left them like that, okay? And this happens to be the set and go uh, economy model with, with the trap that I'm using today. It has ears on it. Therefore, it, uh, and I've got it set so I can move it around a little bit for the camera. We've got the platform and all that comes with. These are $4.99. Guys, if you think you can make them cheaper than that, then you do that because I, I, I don't know how you can do it. And keep them made in America, and I don't think you can get them made in China much cheaper. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set the platform down exactly where I had it last year and tell you about this water conditions. Bear with me here just a second. These water conditions last fall and it was later in the fall, it was, it was actually winter, it was about probably January. This water is attached to a whole series of lakes and dams. This water, no exaggeration, was this high underneath this bridge and it was raging. I came, we had had a thaw and the water come up. My set and go was at the bottom of this right here. Well in the interim, uh, the day before or after I'd already checked it and knew I could not get to it, in the interim, someone come in and right there, there's some bushes, they tied off some floating rat sets. They didn't have permission, they, they weren't supposed to be in here, they saw a culvert, they saw a bridge, they stopped and just set some traps. Number one, that makes us look all bad. Number two, I wouldn't do that in a million years if rats were $25 a piece. And some of them were last year, you know, at the auction, but that's just unethical. And I'm thinking to myself, Man, I hope my set and go is safe. I could not get down to it. The water was up where the camera was at. So it started dropping. They, they opened up the dams. The water started dropping, and it got to about right here. I brought down my hook. Those guys' traps were all in a mess and a tangle and all in that tree and their platforms. I never bothered them. I, the people that, were, that, that owned this land were in Florida. So there was no, I wasn't going to create a problem. I come down here with a hook, and I knew right where my set and go was. They didn't. I hooked it, and what did I pull up? A nice big buck mink. Those are the conditions, and those are the things that pay, make the set and go pay for itself. We're going to be able to pan down here just in a second. We're going to take a short so we can readjust the camera. We're going to pan down. I want to be able to show you this. And then I'll show you some coon and mink tracks under this bridge. And I get excited about it. It's mid-September. In fact, it's uh, squirrel season about to start. Mid-September here in southern Michigan. It's a gorgeous day. We're blessed to have you with us. I want to show you the set and go. And I want to show you right how it works and where it really stands out. Okay, folks. Keep in mind, I've got this set and go all silver on purpose so you can see it. What I've got here is a concrete ledge where the creek comes through and there's a point. It's been blocked off by rocks and there's a point and it's, it's, a, it's a point and it's a, push, it's a push in point, meaning whatever's coming down pushes in. They run these ledges. They run these ledges. They'll make, and rats too, for, and Bob Noonan is an expert. If you've not watched Bob Noonan's DVD, bottom edge mink trapping, you need to run, not walk, run to a computer or run someplace you can buy that and watch it. This, I'm telling you, is deadly. It works. This ledge has got a point right here. I caught a half a dozen or so rats before the weather got bad. When the weather gets bad, the bottom edge set really comes into its own. The mink are forced into the water and they run this ledge right on the bottom, rooting around for 
hibernating frogs and crawfish or whatever they can catch to eat. Watch what happens. Keep in mind, I've got this flat black painted in the fall. And we'll talk about that later on as, as the season progresses. But this is flat black. Here it goes. Where's the steak for the trap thieves and the guy that's, that came in on me? Where's the steak for him to see? The water is all murky. That's painted jet black. By the way, it's got a dead male mink in it. Where's the steak? This is where the set and go trapper really comes into play. They'd have no idea that there's a trap sitting underneath this water. And uh, I'm glad they didn't because I had the mink and I got the set and go. Set and go works, guys. It's not a flash in the pan. It's going to be around a long time. Be a set and go trapper. What do you think, folks? Can you see a place to set a set and go trapper? See that point right there where everything narrows down in, gets pushed in? Set and go right underneath them bushes. Outstanding location for a mink set. And listen to the traffic. If I got a stake sticking up out of the road, everybody in the world knows about it. Not with Set and Go Trapper. Nobody knows about it. 